Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Dragon Quest V. We are going to explore the uh, post-wedding dialogue that we get from uh, Deborah. So let's go ahead and zoom to uh, Coburg. Let's see what she has to say. Helps if I uh, stop hitting the map button. As it's a bit like a honeymoon, Ald, I've decided I'm going to let you choose where we go first. See, I can be kind and generous when the mood takes me. It's good to travel on foot sometimes. Exercise keeps me looking beautiful, for one thing. Hmm, where would I like to go? Very good, Ald. I always, it always pays to ask what I want first. <laughs> this is the kingdom your friend's brother rules, isn't it? That friend of yours who came to our wedding, I mean. So my servant's friend is big brother to a king. That sounds quite impressive. I never heard very good things about Coburg in the past, but it seems peaceful enough now. And you know what peace means? Peace means shopping! Hopefully I'll find a nice new outfit. Welcome to Coburg. Prince Harry's wife really is a lovely girl. I always wanted to marry someone like her. It's a bit late for me now, mind. I know you're happy, Alt. You married me, didn't you? Ever since Prince Harry came home, this place has been getting better by the day. Prince Harry could be quite a useful person to know. Make sure you keep on keep him one on side. Keep him on side? I... I am not familiar with that uh, turn of phrase there. Welcome to Coburg Castle. Do try, do try not to show me up in front of His Majesty, won't you, Ald? <laughs> nah, I wasn't gonna talk to any of these people. They're just guards. <laughs> these are Darwin the Psarologist's quarters. Yeah, she doesn't have anything to say about that. Hello there, the name's Darwin. I spend my time researching all about living things. I've read this already, so I'm just going to zip through the conversation, though. Maybe I could use the secret of evolution to become even more beautiful. No, I think I've reached the upper limit on that one. What is, it? is she just called uh, wife? That's a, that's a good question. Yep, she's just called wife. I suppose I should probably uh, go ahead and equip the uh, wedding veil. She starts with the Achilles weapon and the silk dress, which I believe is unique to her. <laughs> no, don't have anything to say up here. We owe absolutely everything to you, dear Ald, everything. By the way, if I remember rightly, Mas Mastro Ferrato is where that rich man Rodrigo Bris Briscoletti lives. He apparently owns not one, but several large ships. His name's all over the port towns all around this world. Ah, hello there. What a pleasant, what a pleasure to see you. I've been hearing all about you from that brother of mine. I've been having my people look, for the, look into this matter of the legendary hero for you. Sort of as a means of repaying my debt, you know. Now, they've managed to learn about the sh that the shield used by this legendary hero currently resides in a town called Mastro Ferrato. Oh, you have it. You have it already. I might have known you'd be on the case, Ald. I'm sure you'll succeed in finding the legendary hero. We need the legendary hero if we're going to help your mother. It's a pain that he's nowhere to be seen. Oh, it's going to be even an even bigger pain soon, my dear. Oh, I beg your pardon, I didn't recognize you for a minute. Do go on through. Well, 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 it's Ald. How wonderful to see you, old friend. Married life going well, is it? Sure. Marvelous. Well, you did marry a beauty, after all. <laughs> Just like my Maria, of course. So, now you have your partner in life, and it's finally time for you to set about finding the legendary hero. Well, I wish I could go with you, but I have Maria to think about. Still, hopefully you'll drop in from time to time and keep us posted, eh? It can get a bit boring being stuck here in the castle all the time. How can he not have noticed me when I was right there? He must need his eyes testing. Tested. Testing? I thought it said testing, but maybe 
Maybe I misread that. It's lovely to see you again, Ald. All Harry ever talks about just lately is the, the time he spent traveling with you. I don't mind hearing his tales, but it's funny to see how, mu how men love their adventures so much. It would be a bit boring if you were stuck here in this castle the whole time. I could see why he wants to go off traveling. And, and yet, Deborah, if, if we hadn't gotten married, you'd be, uh, you know, stuck back in, uh, Mastro Ferrato forever. Uh, let's see. She does not have any, uh... Uh, field magic, but she does have Dazzle, Snooze, and Kasap already. But let's go ahead and zoom on over to Fortuna. Whee! <laughs> the place is bustling now, but apparently it used to be a bit of a ghost town. If a ghost town can transform itself into such a thriving city, then I suppose that means there's hope for you yet. Ugh. I've been here lots of times in the past with Papa and Nera, but Papa would never let us go on I anything. I'm going to really go for it this time, though. I've got you, my walking wallet, with me after all, Ald. This here's the town of Fortuna, the land of hope and glory. Oh man, I lost again. I guess there's just no such thing as a quick buck in this life. I don't really want to make any money. I'm already rich. Even if I did want to make money, I'd leave that up to you, Ald. Let's see what she has to say about the, uh... Uh, the show. Casinos are fun, but I'd never get that worked up about them. Maybe it's because I'm already rich. These performers aren't bad. I suppose it's not a bad performance. The dress would obviously suit me much better, though. I don't know, really? Yeah, yeah, I would think you'd like your current one better. Then again, I suppose it's always uh, greener on the other side of the road, huh? I came to Fortuna here because I heard of an amazing shop selling the most unusual items, but it's closed during the day, apparently. What? You bought the slime curio there? I had no idea anything like that was even for sale. Uh, I'd love to head over there and buy one myself, but my wife makes a terrible fuss if I go out after dark. I wouldn't complain if you wanted to go gadding about at night. I'd just come along with you. Well, that's a good, uh, uh, good attitude there. My ambition's to be a dancer. Dancers are the prettiest girls in the world. That's what I came here for. But it's really hard trying to make it in the dancing game. My dream when I was young was to have a, fair, a whole army of servants to attend my every women wish. Well... Uh. How'd that turn out for you? Well, I have you. Damn it. I don't think we're going to get anything with that. I was a traveler myself, you know, back in the day. Ah, oh, they were fine times. Fine times. Papa may be a bit of a beached whale now nowadays, but he used to be an explorer back in his day. So he says any day, anyway. I can hardly believe it. I gotta get dinner on the table before my old man and son get home. You look like travelers to me. Don't you miss having a home to go back to in the evening? No, I guess you're too young to feel like that yet, huh? Your home is wherever I happen to be. That goes without saying, of course. I hear law and order has been restored in Coburg at last. Well, that sure is good news now, isn't it? If people are going to spread rumors like that, you'd think they'd at least give credit where it's due. He looks intelligent enough, so you'd think he'd try to get his facts straight. You men are all useless. Land of opportunity ain't so hot in daylight hours, buddy. I ain't doing no business at all. Why don't they just shut up shop during the day and only open at night, then? It doesn't take a genius to work that out. It's true, you'd be working less hours. Wouldn't have to pay anyone. Alright, let's go ahead and zoom to Heavens Above Abbey. <laughs> I 
Mira came here to study theology for a while, you know. She did something called domestic goddess training, too. Hmm? Me? There was no need for me to study any of that, so I said no. Papa was a bit peeved for a while. This is heavens above, Abby. We have, lost, we have many lost and suffering sheep finding their way to our door. You're searching for your mother, isn't that right, Ald? I'll be praying that you find her safe and sound soon. You seem to get on with these nuns here rather well. Not that it bothers me. I'd hope not. I mean, it's not like they can marry. I'm here because I ran away from my husband. He's a mean old ruffian, so he is. You've got kind eyes, though, you have. You'll make someone a nice husband, my lovely. She's right, you do have kind eyes. You're more of a servant than a husband, though. That's where she had it a bit wrong. We make all of our own clothes and grow our own food here at the Abbey, you see. We treat things with the utmost care and we have a great love for the land. Those are two of the main principles of our order. Deborah doesn't have anything to say about that. A prince and a white horse came, and he came and asked Maria, and, and then Maria said yes, and they got married. A prince on a white horse? And there was me thinking they only existed in fairy stories. It seemed as if Maria had hardly been back with us at the Abbey a few days before Prince Harry returned. If the goddess knew he was coming, she in her infinite wisdom, of course, didn't tell any of us about it. It was quite a shock. It would be a shock. You don't usually tend to find royalty visiting places like this. Oh, uh, you might have to eat those words, hon. <laughs> what a joy Prince Harry has brought to the world, asking Maria for her hand in marriage. Let us hope the young Briscoletti girl from Mastro Ferrato finds someone soon, too. Where has the sister who was looking, taking her home got to? Perhaps it's the trouble with the ships I've been hearing about. Hardly any are sailing now, apparently. I hope she isn't stranded. She should definitely be back by now. Maybe she's decided to take a detour and have a bit of fun. I don't remember where she is, actually. Oh, it has been uh, quite some time since we had those... Uh, since we, we visited her, though, so... Well, that's Prince Harry married. I'm sure it would make the goddess happy if you were to follow suit, Ald. We obviously don't look, look like husband and wife. Oh, well, it can't be helped. You must look like my servant. That'll be why. <laughs> it will be interesting to see what she has to say when uh, it, we discover that we are uh, king or prince or whatever. All right, let's go ahead and zoom to Lodestar Harbor. I do enjoy being able to travel like this, not to mention having three square meals a day and my own personal slave into the bargain. Marriage isn't all that bad. This is Lodestar Harbor. I don't mind port towns per se, but I hate the damage the sea air does to my poor hair. So you'd better find us an inn for the night pronto. Mira and I stayed here with Papa when we were kids. I tried to sneak out at night, but Papa was right outside the door. I'll say this for him. He's always been pretty on the ball in that respect. Traveling about by boat, are you? If you are, you might find knowing this comes in handy. If you follow the coast south from here and then sail right down as far south as you can go, you should come to a big desert. Apparently there's a huge castle somewhere in the middle of it. If we're going to the desert, we'll need water, and suntan lotion, and parasols, and... You'll have to get it all ready, okay? Not me. Just... just to be totally clear. I've heard talk of that castle in the desert, too. Some folks say there's a kind of shrine there to the legendary hero. If there's a shrine to the legendary hero, I suppose we... there could still be some descendants of his around. Makes sense. Alright, come here, sir. You're searching for the legendary hero so that you can rescue your mother? That all sounds a bit serious. Uh, it is pretty serious. And I hit the wrong button. He didn't seem that interested in talk of the legendary hero. Mind you, I doubt I would have taken much notice if I wasn't married to you. <laughs> Did you buy one too? Uh, yes. Oh, I thought so. You look the type. You've obviously met him before, ha then, have you? You must have done, because you cut him off before 
He explained himself, so you've clearly heard it all before. Alright, so what if I say no? A souvenir. I suppose we could start picking up an odd, the odd souvenir here and there. You'll obviously be the one to, who has to carry them, though. Um, we, we have a wagon, hon. <laughs> I used to want to be a pharmacist, you know. But then the, the bloke who was teaching me all about medicine went up and popped his clogs. Of all the luck, I used to be... I used to love living, living over Wheelbrook Way and all. So he planned to be a pharmacist and now he's a sailor. Life certainly takes some unexpected turns. I never imagined I'd be standing here with you now, for one thing. <laughs> like, really, almost the exact same uh, comment. People are saying that they're building a huge temple or such, like on at the top of Mount Azimuth. It's hard to imagine how they're managing to build anything at all in a place like that. How do they expect anyone to be able to visit if they're building it in such an awkward place? Honestly, I don't know what goes on in people's heads sometimes. Just point. When I grow up, I'm going to be a sailor and I'm going to travel all around the world. And I'm going to collect lots and lots of treasure too. It'll be amazing. You're not interested in hunting for treasure anymore, are you, Ald? After all, you found the greatest treasure there is. Me. Alright, let's go ahead and zoom to our next uh, locale, a Zooming Gale. Even though I didn't do it with uh, Nera, I think that we will head to Helmanoptra with uh, Deborah. How warm and windy welcome to Zooming Gale. The man who taught you the Zoom spell lives here. You should be grateful to him, you know. He saved you the task of carrying me across mountain ranges. I like this place. I'd like to climb up the highest point and look down on all the people. This town's like a maze. I never lose my way, but I'm a bit worried that you might, Ald. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. What's that Professor Toilet Trouble up to now, eh? The smoke coming from his place is the right killer. <laughs> if the smoke's making him cough, then why doesn't he just move? Some people don't have the brains they were born with. I hear there was a splendid wedding ceremony over at Coburg not too long ago. Well, I think it was the king's elder brother, Prince Harry, who was wed. If I remember rightly, anyway. I'm surprised to hear talk of Coburg all the way out here. We're half the world away. I would have so loved to see the royal wedding for myself. I'll bet the bride was as pretty as a picture. Yes, she was quite pretty. I don't mind admitting that. But she didn't possess anything like my beauty. Ah, uh, you can't beat the feeling of a nice breeze. It is quite pleasant here. Maybe I'll take a little nap. You'll stand guard, won't you, Ald? Um, no. Actually, uh, we got we got things to do. People to talk to. Places to go. Professors to, uh, to meet. Oh, blast! I'm lost again. The paths around this town are so complicated that I just can't seem to find my way. It is quite a frustrating place to navigate. I wonder if the people here ever get lost on their way to the shops. I mean, if they're, they've are they been living here all their lives, I would expect not. <laughs> oh, have you come back to learn another spell? No. Fair enough, just here to relax in, are you? I'm afraid this one's proven to be rather tricky. I'm even starting to wonder if I'll manage to have it cracked during my lifetime at this rate. This spell research is all well and good, but it won't do it be of any use to anyone if he kills himself in the process. <laughs> Alright, let's go to, uh, hey! Whee! Don't kill me, I don't want to die. Tell it to keep away. Uh, I know she's friends with it. I've seen you walking about with it. Keep it away from me. I suppose all they see is that Percy destroyed their crops, so it stands to reason that they're scared to see us with him. But Percy wouldn't do him any harm. He needn't be afraid for his life like that, the silly man. 
Ald, I do hope you've dragged me out to the middle of nowhere for a good reason. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna scare all these people again. Also, I like that uh, apparently Deborah likes Percy. This here's A. You fancy folk could probably call it hay. By the goddess, you made made friends with it, didn't you? You'll frighten the watch that's off everyone. That old woman has courage. I'll bet she was a feisty girl like me back in her day. I know what you is. You're a monster tamer. I've known for a long time that you're a monster tamer. But you're still my servant first and foremost, and don't you forget it. Charming, after we, uh, after we went to all the effort to figure out their problem for them, this is the thanks we get. Uh, we? There really is nothing here, is there? I much prefer being in town to being in the countryside. S stay away from us! Stay away from me! Please! There's no need for him to beg. I'll gladly stay away. Let's go, Ald. I've never had a problem with getting lots of attention, but I don't like the way they stare here. It's like they're scared of me. <laughs> Everyone's scared of you, though. <laughs> well, I'll be beggared. You should cut in little blimer, ain't ya? You've been cahooting with that air monster all along. I knew what I did. You're a right clever dicky, eh? Fooled all bales good and proper. Pick up your reward money, and then you best clear off and never come back. How dare he? I have plenty of money of my own, thank you very much. I don't need to sink to those levels for their grubby small change. I wonder if I could have done all this uh, with Percy now. I know what you done. You had it planned from the start. You and that monster's working together. It must have been half loopy ever trusting you. I'd say it's more loopy for him to of him to believe the nasty rumors about us than it was for him to have trusted us in the first place. So that's the end of it. Now get going. I don't want their stupid money. And they don't have to tell me to leave. I'll do it gladly. Come on, Ald. I've had enough. <laughs> Alrighty, let's zoom on to... Uh, actually, let's go to Mastro Ferrado and then uh, pay a visit to Bianca. Might actually get to see... Uh her in combat. Speaking of, I probably should have put some other people in the uh, party. So not a whole lot of damage right now, but... She does attack twice, which is pretty good against uh, metal slimes and stuff. such. This is where that Bianca lives, isn't it? You could drop in on her briefly if you like. I'm not the kind to get jealous about that sort of thing. I'm very generous, you know. There's nothing to this place apart from the baths. Looks like I'll have to give up on my idea of shopping for new clothes. Welcome to Stock and Barrel. The baths are cooking, so the place is a bit full of folk just now. Soaking in baths like this is good for your skin, isn't it? You'd probably be pleased if I became even more beautiful than I am now, wouldn't you? Um, sure, I guess. I thought so. You married me for my beauty, after all. So you're bound to be happy. Oh, that's not exactly what I meant. I wondered what you were doing coming to a village stuck out in the middle of the mountains. You were bringing me to a spa resort. Well, well, well. You'd be looking mighty pleased with yourself. I hadn't noticed you were quite so overjoyed about becoming my servant, but he's right. It's written all over your face. <laughs> well, if it ain't old, seeing you standing there really reminds me of your poor old dad, Pancras. If only we could turn back the clock, eh? So that's Bianca's fa father? He's so happy to see you. He doesn't look well, mind. Looks like that Bianca girl isn't around today. <laughs> and what do you have to say? Come to see Bianca, have you? She's not here at the moment, though. You'll have to come back of an evening. <laughs> I'm not sure if he marry ends up marrying Bianca or not. There's apparently some kind of religious order out there 
at the moment collected money to build a White King's Paradise or such like. They say they'll keep you safe even if the end of the world comes and all that. A White King's Paradise? Sounds like a figment of someone's imagination if you ask me. I bet it's just a scam they've come up with to take money from people. There's nothing holy about that. This inn's not bad. You can go in the, in the baths whenever you want and everything. We'll stay here tonight, Ald. <laughs> Hello there. I bet you've come to relax in the water, eh? Just mind you don't go soaking too much. Wouldn't want to pass out, eh? Well, he certainly doesn't know who, who he's talking to, does he? As if you'd go passing out just because of some hot water, eh, Ald? Ald? <laughs> Are you speechless in the face of my beauty, Ald? You're a simple little thing at times. Please leave me alone. I'm trying to relax. Deborah looks livid. It might be wise to make a swift exit. I'll bet you're another one of those uptight fellas here to soak away your quick cares, ain't you? No. Nope. Oh well, maybe next time, eh? Baths here are good for your skin, you know. We're not far from Ostroferrato either, so maybe we should come again soon. Alright, if I say yes. Well, enjoy that then. The water's lovely and warm. I suppose you think that's funny, do you, Ald? <laughs> Alright, let's uh, get it to be nighttime so we can talk to Bianca. <laughs> Alright. Let's go with TikTok. <laughs> we may as well stay the night now. Now we're here. I'll have a bath before bed. Now you're saying the exact same thing. <laughs> Hello, all. Good to see you. That wedding of yours was really amazing, you know. I'm sure Pancras would have been looking down from above with a smile. That's good, Ald. Bianca seems well. Not that it means anything to me. That's all you have to say, huh? <laughs> Alright, well, let's uh, go ahead and rest here. Yep, nothing of note on either of them. Alright, next up, uh, where are we going to go to? Morning, guys. Deborah didn't have anything to say about that? Wow, shocking. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and zoom on over to Wheelbrook. What a mess. There was no need for them to trash the place quite this much. You look a bit pale, Ald. I think you'd better have an early night. In fact, that's an order. This is Wheelbrook. If you head west from here, you'll end up in Roundback. Nothing to say about that, huh? This scene of ours used to be a lot nicer back in the day until those soldiers wrecked the place. It's a bit humble, I'm afraid, but I hope you'll at least find it comfortable enough to rest your weary head for the night. No comments from Deborah. A little bit disappointed. I hear something called the Zenithian Sword was found right here in our cave. I'm just gonna skip past it. It's a pretty lengthy uh, bit of text. How annoying! He had what what he needed right there in front of him, but he couldn't make use of it. That is pretty annoying. Not gonna comment on me uh, bashing the pot? Disappointing. Good heavens, you're going off in search of the legendary hero. Are you sure that's wise? Yes, it is. Ah, and who's this lovely young thing by your side? Oh, you got married, Ald. Lovely, how wonderful that you have someone you have someone to fill the the gap that Pancras left all. I do hope you manage to find your mother soon too. I'll be praying for you. 
So the only way we can help your mother is to find the hero th of what might be nothing but, le but a legend. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose if that's the only way, then there's nothing for it. And we can't do the other uh, option. Alrighty, let's go zoom on to Roundbeck. <laughs> it's a bit of a small town, but it has a few shops, so it's not so bad. You've been to quite a few places in your time, haven't you? It's great for me because it means you tend to know, know your way around. Welcome to Roundbeck. This is where that Bianca grew up, isn't it? Why don't you go and look her up? Go on. Go now before I change my mind. Uh, she, she's not here, though. I'm traveling the world in search of legendary weapons. Came to Roundbeck because I heard there was a man living here who knows a thing or two about legends. We had the Zenithian shield at home, so the other items probably exist, too. I wonder where this man who is who knows all about legends. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Nope. Papa always said that pubs are good places for gathering information because there are so many people coming and going. We'll have to try and have a chat with that man who's supposed to know all about legends. And he's got a, a lengthy uh, text, so I'm not going to read that. Do -do 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 -do. Still getting the gender of the legendary hero wrong. If the legendary hero existed, then it's certainly not impossible that there are descendants of his out there somewhere. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. <laughs> and what do you have to say, uh, Deborah? Nothing. Yeah, no one else had anything to say about that woman either. Sounds like it's all back to normal at Coburg. I wonder what fixed everything. Looks like people here haven't heard about what you did. Not that it bothers me particularly. It bothered you at the other place. What's a man to do, eh? I ran away from Coburg when things took a turn for the worse, you see. So now I'm stuck because I can't possibly go back to soldiering after... doing a runner like that. He's lucky to be alive if he deserted the army. I would have thought he'd be executed for that. Ald, I know this is unlikely. But you don't ever feel like you might want to desert me, do you? Uh, nah. Is that your idea of a joke? You'll always be my servant, and don't you forget it. I won't permit you to run away. Alright, let's see what the old guy says. This inn's not bad. We could stay here for a few nights if you'd like, Ald. And you don't have anything to say there. I guess we'll stay a night. See what actually happens, if anything. Nope. Uh, I believe that the uh, event is only with uh, Bianca. And let's see if you have anything uh, different to say. So this is where that Bianca used to live all those years ago. Alright, uh, that is about it uh, for this episode. When we come back next time, I will stitch together um, basically the same things that we had with Nera, but I am going to go to Helmanoptra first, because uh, I'm kind of curious what um, Deborah here has to say when she learns that, you know, we are actually a prince, king, whatever. So I'll see you guys next time for the last episode of Dragon Quest V. See you then, everyone.